Hey, welcome to another episode of In Range. I'm here at the gun store in Las Vegas, Nevada, and you see in front of you an entire collection of what we're going to go ahead and call movie guns. I'm here with Russell Fagan, of course, and Mr. Rifleman, and a whole bunch of the cool guys that make this stuff happen. So maybe each of you can introduce yourself to the camera, and then we'll talk about what you're doing here. All right. My name's Michael Collender. I've been working here for about 15 years and a gunsmith for about the last 12. Yeah. 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 I'm um, Tony D, and I've been here since uh, forever, 1998, I think we started this. And uh, I was the gunsmith also, and one of the instructors. And uh, we had, you know, a lot of experience with the movie guns for many, many years. Uh, I'm Ketsu, I'm actually the range manager here, I take care of uh, running the guns with the customers. Uh, I've been here for about 10 years, uh, picked up some stuff and gunsmithing tricks from these guys, so. Awesome, so when I look here, at, we got a lot of different movies here, we've got Aliens, where you see the M56 smart gun and the pulse rifle and some of the armor. In fact, we just got done shooting some of those. But we've got, what do we got here represented? we got Terminator, Star Wars, John Wick. Like, so when you're, when you're going to make movie guns, or, or at least movie type guns, what do you have to consider? Like, what's, what's the art of that? Because this is ultimately a tourist attraction. Based on a real gun, first off. <laughs> right, and these are shooting yeah. real bullets. These are not like, the, yeah. the, these are real guns. Guns well, for people that aren't necessarily gun people. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, we're putting mo ninety percent of our clients never had a gun in their hand before, mm -hmm. and they see a lot of stuff on the movies, and they want to come and relive the experience. So you know, we try to we have to standardize on ammunition. One thing, uh, we have to make sure there's not any exotic calibers that we can't get. Uh, we are a lead-free range, so we have to use uh, basically frangible ammunition, and to get some of the guns to work with frangible ammunition is. Uh, a little difficult yeah, in itself, yeah. especially the machine guns. It's harsher on the guns too. Yeah, and it, yeah, the and more expensive. Yeah, more expensive. British <laughs> spec, NATO spec, American spec. Yeah. Uh, Man, World War Two <laughs> era yeah. made guns. Yeah. Like with the uh, with the smart gun, you know, it, that turned out that started off as a regular real MG42 in eight millimeter, uh -huh. and uh, to shoot it from a vest in eight millimeter would be virtually impossible <laughs> right sure so we had to convert it to 76239 uh, to make it less recoil and uh, more controllable and we have our own custom made uh, 76239 ammo made for us in frangible so uh, it's like one company that does yeah, that free, and, we, yeah. and we had to do that to get that to going uh, the most of the other stuff is uh, basic calibers nine millimeter uh, 45 and uh, with the shotgun shells uh, like with the handheld the pistol grip shotguns shooting that with a full power buckshot or slug is uh, going to be carpal tunnel uh, at least Your carpal first tunnel firearm experience it, it, it's a little <laughs> traumatizing like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like learning to drive at the indy 500 here's the keys to knock yourself out so we custom load download and because we're lead free i have to load with bismuth mm -hmm. shot and we download it so it's controllable it's and the same thing with the pulse rifle too because this is a real 870 mounted onto a real thompson and you know we had to reinforce around the muzzle to get it not to uh for the recoil wise and it's kind of unwieldy with a full power round also the way it agronomically right and we had to make that with uh with the low power rounds too so they're still getting the the firearms experience but we're getting it with the with live ammo but a little bit down you know because of the tourists you know, sure. and, 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 yeah are, are there any particular challenges keeping the uh, these prop guns running over time? <sighs> yeah, any, <laughs> any, any custom proprietary part you got to try and keep together, and yeah. if it does break, then you got to make a new one. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a full machine shop here, and you know we have to we a lot of the stuff. This guy here is a, a savant when it comes to a lot of the a lot of the things and uh, lucky, yeah. <laughs> more lucky. And it, you know he'll come up with some stuff and then we we'll figure out how to put it together and uh, to keep them running. You know, yeah, it, it it's a challenge. It is a challenge. You know, we're constantly breaking parts and stuff, and a lot of the stuff is is hard to get, especially for the older guns. And uh, you know, you can't go down to Ace Hardware and buy. Uh, no. <laughs> an extractor yeah. like with with the, the john wick guns we're going to do an mpx mm -hmm. yeah. but it's only one company that makes the mpx yeah. yeah if i need a new recoil spring for an mpx i gotta deal with sig and if they're in between production runs or they can't provide yeah. me one or world war ii kind of ended so it's kind of hard to get yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. only one group of people that make yeah. MP40 yeah. magazines. yeah and, they're uh, they're they're not here anymore they're out of business so, I yeah, think. They're yeah. Out of yeah. Yeah. Dresden <laughs> thing is notable 
for reducing supply of parts. So, and then you know, Cacho, he's uh, he does a lot of the uh, 3D printing, and that's a challenge too because now we have to work around things and we have temperature issues, heat warpage, mm -hmm. and then you know we got to try and make them look old, used, and yeah. uh, and beat up. And make sure it works for a real gun too. Yeah. So. Supposedly the original armor on the aliens movies took these guns and slammed them around on the ground and yeah, they yeah. so they beat up and. <laughs> Maybe doing that with an actual World War II Thompson is not. <laughs> I get yelled at. He yeah. would. Uh, he'd beat me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's an, that, that's an interesting thing when we talk about movie guns. Like I'm, I, like, me, I'm sure you guys know more than I do, but like I've been a huge fan of Aliens ever since I was a kid. We talked about that a yeah. bunch today. Not alone in that. And the M41A pulse rifle is like this icon. These all are iconic movie guns, right? This one was iconic to me. Yeah. And so I believe, like on the actual movie, it was a Thompson and an under shotgun. Yeah. Right? I mean, so this right. this really is like what they that's would the, what they did. That's the real deal. It was yeah. a Thompson over an 870. They're shot blank, so. Yeah, and that's yeah, actually the real boys. Yeah. That's that's another thing too. A lot of yeah. we, we used to do a lot of movie guns, and you know, to make them work with blanks and and uh, just prop guns, it's so much easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, converting some of the guns to fire blanks is a pain, but uh, you know, a lot of the prop guns were just easy. You could throw something together, and you know, it well, looked good. It's not rattling. Yeah, yeah it, it looked good. Yeah. It fit yeah. the issue, but to actually have them go bang. It's a challenge. So you're not getting the same recoil with a typical movie prop gun, no, uh, and no. not the same wear. Well, you guys on. saw the MG, like that's 760 by 39 on the movie, a giant muzzle flash, no movement, yeah. And so yeah, with the All you're sending out is propellant gases. That's yeah, a lot different yeah. Than shooting out. Uh, so. What are some of the challenges of um, you know doing these rentals for customers that have so little firearms experience? Like how do you how do you get someone <laughs> off, 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 the, off the street to handle I'm, this safely? I'm watching them with the very, very close eyes. I'm always in arm's reach with them. If they ever get scared, fumble, or just freak out, casing goes down their shirt, I'm right there, always with the arm's reach. We do things a little differently here. It's not like you go to other intense ranges. Intense adult supervision. Yeah, intense adult supervision basically. So it's because I'm, I am I can possibly get hurt. And that, I'm more in danger than that person actually shooting. So I have to, I have a keen eye and watching everything what they're doing so and, and so they're not so happy about it but there yeah. has to be safety safety is yeah. more important than anything else yeah. most rangers will give you the gun and be like here you go good luck yeah. but yeah. i'm not going to give a guy no. a full this is why we're actually with this anymore yeah. yeah we've heard some bad stories about stuff like that yeah, yeah. and this, yeah. this is why we're accident free we we we're very keen on our safety and and if, if they don't speak english half my customers don't speak english hand gestures go hand a long gesture, way yeah yeah and yeah. The thumbs up i understand <laughs> yeah. yeah it goes a long way but at some point, I'm breathing down the neck because I have to be in the booth with them because, you know, just in case. Because these are real firearms and I don't want any accidents. So I'm in charge of that, I guess. Yeah, and you don't just do movie prop guns. You rent all sorts yeah. of different guns yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, we got old classic World War II guns. We have bolt action, semi-autos, a lot of full, sort of full autos. That's basically what we do here. Well, I mean, you know, uh, Las Vegas being a, obviously a tourist destination internationally, yeah. people from around the world could, like, not even shoot a 22, more or less a M41A pulse yeah. rifle. Yeah. So coming here, this is a very exotic thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really Yeah, and, thing. you know, it, it's... it's you know, we started this, uh, the machine gun rental business in Las Vegas. We were the, we started. Oh. We, were, we were number one We in, in, back in the day. And uh, from there, you know, there are several other places in town that are doing this also now. Yep. But, uh, you know, we started the show and uh, we had a, a lot of experience with it. And a lot of things that we get... Uh, I get a lot of emails and stuff on people. Well, you took a, a, a World War II oh, yeah. and you totally destroyed oh, it. Right. And you know, it didn't. no, we didn't. A lot of the, <laughs> this is, this can go back to where right. exactly it was. Like we, it, it eats his soul if we have to cut into anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had to cut a safety on the 911. Sure, there's thousands of them, but oh, well. if I got caught doing it, I would the, hear the it from shroud him. on this pulse rifle was uh, oh, put was... together from sheet metal. Yeah. Santor did buy a Spaz, but I just could not bring myself to take the hacksaw to the three thousand dollar shotgun. Yeah. You know, for a shroud. For a shroud. Yeah. Yes. So, so you know, and people say, "Well, you know, we could turn all of these back to normal guns." You yeah. know, so that would be you know very good. And like with this one here, we take the barrel off, take the, put the buttstock back on, put the rear sight back on. You know, it could be a real Tommy again, uh, uh, Thompson again. You know, so yeah, and that MG can too. I mean, just looking at it right now, I I don't see anything there that's like a permanent modification. Right, exactly. And like the wooden buttstock's been removed and replaced with essentially a like a bike handle from a motorcycle, which is the firing agent, he, which is how they did it in the movie. Yeah, yeah, he was did. very yeah. keen on getting the exact part from the movie. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah that's so, the, from yeah. the exact motorcycle. From yeah, the same thing. Oh. The <laughs> this is definitely some kind yeah, of... Yeah, this one we did print out, though, for that. Whether or not we want a 100% clone correct gun 
or whether we want one that looks function good in, enough yeah. with parts that can support. Well, like this, like, like, an example of this right. is the Han Solo blaster. Yeah, right? yeah. We, you know, we're toying with the idea of using a real C96 broom handle. Mm -hmm. But now we're talking broom handle. We're talking parts. either nine millimeter or even a, a, you know the 765. Yeah, you know, and we said, well, it, they're they're fragile. They don't you know, they're work gonna go very well. Abuse, yeah. If we break something, we're kind of in trouble. Yep. So we, we cloned it on, a, on an M16. And uh, so, it, you know, it looks the part, and it fires standard ammunition. And, uh, it's and compared to a C96, much safer for yes. customers who are yes. shooting it Absolutely. every day, day in, yeah. day out, yeah. right? I had one author come in, and uh, he actually he's writing a, he was writing a mystery novel, and he wanted to shoot a, a real C96. And I, I, got, I got one at home, so I brought sure. it in for him, and I had him shoot it, and he was like, Never expected anything like this. You know, I mean, we're like totally, yeah, you know, totally different than what he expected to use in the book. In the book, so he had to change a lot of stuff in the book. And so, so him and I have been very good friends since then. And now he's very specific on reality. He wants to, you know, and which is really good to get you know, it right. Yeah. So, yeah, get it right. Oh, I get that all the time. People come in and be like, "Oh, the handguns are way harder than the ones that look." Oh, well, yeah, yeah, they always misrepresent. Yeah, that. Oh, it kicks. So, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, the first reaction is their the eyes wide and open, and they're just not sure if they want to keep going. The yeah. classic Rambo comes in. He's seen a movie written by someone who's never shot a gun, directed yeah. by someone who's never shot a gun, acted by people who don't shoot guns. So he knows everything. Yeah, He's of course. Not yeah, yeah. Well, they played some video games it just, too. Yeah, it just right? vibrates yeah. a little yeah, more. Your controller, you're good. The girlfriend is here. The girlfriend hates being at the range. Hates standing next to the ugly old white guy who sternly <laughs> stares at her while she's shooting. But she takes a hint. Yeah. Follows just the slightest bit of instruction and makes him look bad every time. Yeah. Every yeah. 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 No bad habits. Fail. It's always like sights. That, yeah. Oh, sights. Yeah. And then amazingly enough. We just, amazing. Yeah. 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 We, he was just being a gentleman and let her win. That's what we tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want to hand a pistol grim pump with a magnum slug to a no newbie, yeah. would you, Fagan? Yeah. No, it's not fun. <laughs> not, not unless you want them to hurt themselves. Yeah. It should be a misdemeanor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. It's really like... Yeah, but we, we do a good job at making them feel comfortable, happy. I don't want to make somebody nervous and hand them a belt-fed machine. Yeah, well, we don't want to get anybody yeah. to get hurt. Well, that's, right. another, yeah. that's another thing. You're really setting an impression. If these are people that have never shot a gun before, right. yep. you're actually ambassadors to the shooting sports. Yeah. Right. Because if they leave here with a bad taste in their mouth, they yeah, felt exactly. unsafe. We get that. We do get yeah. that. We change a lot of minds. Yeah, we do change a lot of mine yeah. so what's the typical rental package range and price well for one example the pulse rifle that's 75 for 40 rounds so two mags on that and the two shotgun shells for 75 dollars uh that we're still in debate on how much we have to charge for that uh, i think it's 175 for the star wars package kind of thing one with the sterling machine gun one mag one mag on the Han Solo pistol and the Bowcaster one mag. I mean, just so, our, our basic package is yeah, 100 one bucks. to two, 200 bucks. You get a t shirt, you get this fine gentleman running you too. So, <laughs> get everybody safe, guns yeah. pointed in the right direction. Really, in a, in a town like this, 100 bucks to come shoot the Ford, you know, like you said, 75. But 75 for that. That's a pretty yeah. interesting experience yeah. for a pretty low amount of money. Actually. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and we are the lowest in town, yeah. also. I mean, a lot of the other ranges, uh, uh, the prices are a little bit higher than us. But like our gun store packages, you know, it's 100 a, it's bucks, 100 yeah. bucks you know, and you get three guns. You, know, you get, a, you know, you get a, ma a machine gun, a handgun, and a rifle. So oh. it's, it's great. It's running an indoor range in Las Vegas with taxes and everything. Oh, all, the all the things that come overhead. with that. And safety yeah. for me, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so on top of that, you've got like right now, we, so we just talked about, well, we just did a video talking about the Aliens experience, and that's just kind of launching right now, right? Yeah. And then so, there's also yeah. Star Wars. Yes. Um, you've got some, like we said, we've got some John Wick going on. We've got Terminator gun here. Yeah. So, like, what are the packages that are currently here and what's coming? How about that? Oh, God. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's several different packages right now. Those ones are usually, so they all vary. They have about, we're going to be releasing close to 14 different packages. Right now, we're about Sweet. like seven to 10. I, I can't, off the top of my head. Yeah. But they all vary from a $100 package. Oh, I was talking about money, just the different oh, movies you're doing. Oh, yeah, the yeah, different yeah. movies, like yeah. uh, pack, base packages. They're going to, uh, it depends on the gun. Like a single rental would be like a hundred bucks, close to a hundred dollars, and then they go all the way up to fifteen hundred with the whole theme room, the whole aliens dropping and yeah. stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, they're gonna get up there on the price if you want the more rubber face huggers <laughs> to shoot out with the blood splattering everywhere. So, so, we're, so we're, what, what yeah. movies are like focused on? Though? We, oh, we said aliens and just Star action, Wars, and action movies. Predator, yeah, yeah. Predator. Yeah, yeah, he's looking at Predator, Predator right now. Star um, Wars, Star Wars, Aliens, and Predator. Now, when we say Predator, there's not going to be no shoulder cannon. Right? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, no, 
Yeah. Don't risk really? it, ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put on thermals. Yeah, no, yeah. No, okay. I, I'm not yeah. comfortable like, putting a, a chest harness with a oh, shoulder-mounted uh, gun it. on someone's yeah. shoulder. Yeah, no, no, yeah. No. With Plasma. technology nowadays, not ready. Yeah. Do you have to have a pit of mud to like rub all over your face <laughs> and come out? And... No, they just no, dress no. me naked. And oh, just, oh, yeah, mud me up. And yeah. Just, Perfect. Yeah, no. just do my best. <laughs> <model> <laughs> extra fee for that. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, the sh- oh. the stripper fee usually. Cool. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> See what I have to deal with here. <laughs> it's the predator slash escort experience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know I mean? It's the best experience. That's the best package. Keep an eye out for that. No, but it's really cool because being a big aliens fan, I've always been at the all oh, my audience knows this. Yeah. Getting out here and actually like hold this thing, it's like it's like I yeah. grew up watching this, right? Yeah, exactly. And then you shoot that that smart gun, you're like, this is wild. Like yeah. this is a real thing. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Wouldn't we, want to do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But we're not giving our uh, our boss any more ideas. <laughs> we put uh, one I, seat in, he went more. I, I have a suggestion. Uh, Robocop. Oh! oh Auto 9. Can we get the outfit, too? Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you print that up? I can walk like that. Just... Well, if you do Robocop, you've got to have you got the Auto 9, right? right. And you yeah. have a bunch of targets, and it's all just crotch circles. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're 93R. we got to get your 93R to get yeah. it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, this is really fun. If you're ever in Vegas, there's a, like this is a cool place to come and do this stuff. If you've ever just wanted to shoot a historic gun or you want to shoot a movie gun, you guys have been a pleasure to work with, and you have a beautiful place, and you have Thank really you. cool stuff. So I don't know if there's anything you want to add to the audience that I didn't ask about. You're come by. Free? Stop by. We're open. We miss people after COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, it was like crickets over here for during COVID. But, yeah. You know, but, uh, I see my first Brit in Australia in like two years. It was, it was nice. <laughs> oh, a, tourist, a tourist town yeah. during the pandemic oh. must have been a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. We drove down a strip. We, did make was, more we never go to the strip. Yeah. Yeah. We drove down a strip. It was like... Something out of a movie. Yeah. Their daughters, so their seven-year-old daughters to ride bikes because there's nobody there. It's oh, amazing. weird. It's like, yeah, yeah it was like abandoned wonderland, all these signs. So we, hopefully we will never have to endure that again. We did more retail off. sales until yeah. everything ran out. So. Yeah. Stop on by. Yep. We didn't want to talk guns. We got the wrong gig, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> my, not pleased, my tourist town know. experience, so that was in New Orleans during the pandemic. You go down Bourbon Street and it was you could hear birds. Yeah, I didn't know you had birds. It smelled <laughs> And the buildings were boarded up. Yeah. Like there was no one there and yeah. there was just street art. And it was it felt like the walking dead. Like yeah. the yeah, yeah it felt like that's the neat dead. actually. Yeah. Yeah. They, were, yeah. they were out in the strip still, but they were all there was just The Walking Dead were? No, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it was empty. They're they're another street over. Yeah, they're another street <laughs> over. Okay, they, yeah. they actually live in the sewers. No. Yeah. <laughs> Which we don't have. Yeah. You have anything you want to add? You, know, you guys want to plug your uh, social media? Yeah, uh, you can follow us at the Gun Store Las Vegas uh, on Instagram. You can do it on Facebook, too. Uh, we just got access to our YouTube page, so you can type that in. It's the Gun Store Las Vegas, the whole word, the whole wording, I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, uh, just give us a follow. Sometimes we throw deals. We're always in, when you're in town, stop by, and we have plenty of machine guns for you to shoot. So It's a really cool place. Yeah. Absolutely. So I want to thank you all for doing this today. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys for coming here. down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a pleasure. Great time. Great time. Seriously, come check it out. Thanks for watching.